first thing that I want to do is I want to cover the criteria of the moving average trading trading strategy that allows you to capture the retracement and pullbacks. Okay, basically, uh, what happens is that you're looking for a trend, right, and you're trying to catch a pullback to enter into the existing trend. Okay. I'll, I'll go through the entry trigger, meaning how do you enter the trade, where do you put your stop loss, uh, how do you take profit and all those good stuff, okay? So it's a, it's, it's a full walkthrough, okay? I don't leave you hanging, I give you the entry, stop loss and the take profit, right? I want After that, I want to show you examples, I want to go to the charts, well, I'll switch to trading view and take you through step by step how I do it, right? So that hopefully you can... Uh, apply it right after watching this video you can go straight to your charts and start back testing it okay now if you stay to the end okay i have a special source okay quote unquote source that can drastically increase your win rate with this strategy okay so if you are trading some form of moving average trading strategy right it doesn't have to be hours right you want to stay tuned to the end because uh, this secret sauce will help you increase your win rate okay and if you go to other youtube channels you will not see this okay this is not a rehash of other people's materials this is our own experience okay so you want to stay to the end because that you know that will help you increase your win rate okay and who doesn't want a higher win rate okay so by the way if you are enjoying this video so far right give us a thumbs up right help us to grow this channel right make sure you hit the subscribe button and also turn on the no notification bell okay we create videos like this almost every day to serve you right we are here on a mission to help you become a profitable trader okay so please just help us to grow right it doesn't take you more than five seconds of your time so we would definitely appreciate it okay we also have a free day trading guide for you so make sure you check that out the link is in the description okay that that's another trading strategy that works okay we have a lot of videos about it and it it works period right so if you know you're a bit confused you need a guide right if this information in this video is a bit too complicated for you then uh, you, please get our free day trading guide because we cover everything that you need to know in that free day trading guide okay so let's go into the criteria of the moving average trading strategy that uh, I, I would like to teach you today okay so there's only two criteria two very simple criteria okay the first criteria that it must follow the long-term trend okay so how do we define long-term trend okay so let me see if i can draw it okay so earlier on i said that this strategy is you are trying to catch the you know you're trying to catch the retracements here okay so step number one or rather criteria number one is that you must have the moving average sloping up okay so this is a 200 period exponential moving average okay just a brief introduction if you do not know what a moving average is what it does is it just takes a previous 200 candles right a 200 period a moving average means that it takes a previous 200 candles closing price and forms a uh, kind of like a smoothen line so that it's much clearer okay of course if you use a 50 period then it's going to take into account the previous 50 candles right the close of the previous 50 candles okay so that's how a moving average work okay so criteria number one is that you want to follow the long-term trend okay in our definition is that uh the price is above the 20 ema okay if you want to buy okay uh price must be above the 200 EMA, if you want to sell, then price must be below the 200 EMA, okay? So if that if you see that price is above 200 EMA, you do not want to be selling, okay? You do not want to be selling. This is very important, okay? You do not want to be selling, okay? Even if the 50 period moving average is down, meaning that, um, you know, maybe the 50 period moving average is higher, okay? But it's price is still above the 200 moving average, you will still want to buy okay you do not want to be looking for selling opportunities okay this is very important you always want to follow the long-term trend okay so ask yourself first um what is the long-term trend okay that's very easy just plot the moving average and uh you should have your directions do you want to buy or do you want to sell okay now criteria number two is that we are going to use another exponential moving average which is the 50 period exponential moving average okay you want to see price bounce off okay so you have the 200 moving average, okay? And then you have the 50 period moving average, okay? So you want to see price come to, to come to the 50 period moving average and bounce off, okay? So this is a bullish example, okay? So I will go into the charts later to show you how to apply this, okay? So not to worry. Okay, let me just clear this and then I'll proceed. 
Okay, so how do you enter? Okay, before I go into the actual case uh, examples, I want to talk about the entry trigger first, stop loss, and how do you take profit? Okay, so your entry trigger is very simple. Okay, as I mentioned, you want to look for a reaction of the 50 exponential moving average. Okay, so your entry is very simple. I want you to look for a candlestick pattern okay there is the engulfing pattern and the pin bar pattern okay you can just use these two patterns okay again um i have all this covered in the free day trading guide so if you have not downloaded it make sure you download it okay so basically this is the bullish engulfing pattern so basically this candle over here uh, engulfs this candle okay the close of this candle is higher than the uh, the open of this candle okay for bearish engulfing pattern the close of this candle is lower than the open of the previous candle okay a pin bar on the other hand is just kind of like a very long weak candle okay but in the end it closed you know it closed back lower to show that there is strong rejection of the level okay again i do not want to go into too much details because all this is provided in a free day trading guide okay so i'm going to assume that you kind of already understand how to read candlestick patterns okay so your entry will be very simple. The moment you see any of these candlestick kind of patterns, you can enter uh, the trade, okay? So how do you do your stop loss, okay? How do you set your stop loss, okay? You can set your stop loss as 1 ATR above below your entry, okay? What is 1 ATR, okay? In this case, you are looking at the 14 days um, daily ATR. That means you go onto the daily chart, okay? You go onto the daily chart and uh, you find out what is the ATR, okay? So if let's say the, the the ATR is 40 pips, then you're going to set a stop loss of 40 pips from your entry. Okay, again, uh, I'm going to the chart. So if you are a bit confused, uh, just, just, just wait for me to finish this portion. Okay, I'll just co cover, finish the take profit and then we'll go straight into the charts. Okay, so take profit, uh, you have two options. Okay, option number one is more of, uh, you know, if you are just trying to catch a um, swing, just trying to catch a swing in the market, uh, what you can do is you can exit at the previous um, swing high or swing low. Okay, that's option number one. Option number two is if you want to write the trend, then you can throw your stop loss. Okay, you can throw your stop loss below the moving average, the 50 period moving average, or you can throw your stop loss according to market structure. Okay, again, I will go into the charts to explain each of this. Okay, so not to worry. Okay, so let's go into the charts right now and let me show you how do you apply this strategy. Okay. Okay, so right here, what we have is the euro dollar. Okay, we are on the daily chart. Okay, so the first thing is that uh, we need two of the uh, exponential moving average. We have the 50 period and we have the 200 period. Okay, in this case, uh, this blue line here is actually the 50 period and the uh, orange line is the 200 period exponential moving average. Okay, so criteria number one involves looking at the 200 period moving average okay so very simple anything above if price is above then you want to be buying okay if price is below okay you want to be selling okay so as of right now the market is in it's above it's trading above the 200 ema exponential moving average so that means that you want to be buying okay so how do you buy okay in this case you want to wait for price to to retrace you want to wait for price to retrace to the 50 period moving average you want to look for a candlestick pattern and then you want to enter the trade okay of course this hasn't happened yet so let's go back into history so that i can show you some examples of this strategy okay Okay, we have it here. Okay, let's say that uh, we are somewhere over here right now. Okay, let's say that uh, it's here. Okay, let's look at this area, this zone. Okay, so criteria number one is that the uh, price must be trading below the 200 uh, EMA. Okay, so yes, uh, it is. Okay, criteria number two is that uh, you must see a form of rejection at, um, at the 50 EMA, 50 period EMA. Okay, so we have that as well. Okay, so over here we have a... If you zoom in, right, you can see that we actually have a, a very nice pin bar over here. Okay, so what we do is that uh, we have the uh, move the ATR as well, right? For for our entry and our for our entry, we use the candlestick pattern. For our stop loss, we use the ATR. Okay, so right here I have the fourteen uh, day ATR and we're in the day chart. Okay, so just a gentle reminder: you always want to be using the daily ATR. Okay, do not use this on H four because ATR has to be used on the daily because you want to know the daily range, okay? Knowing the 
H4 range, it's it, it doesn't really make sense, right? Because when you set your stop loss, you always want to take into account the entire trading range, the entire day's trading range, not just four hours. Okay, so please use the ATR on the um for, uh, on the daily chart, okay? So if you do not know what ATI is, ATI is basically an indicator that calculates the range of the previous X number of days, okay? So in this case, we are using a 14 days. So it means we are trying to calculate the average range of the past 14 days that the market has been trading, right? Between the high and the low, what's the range, okay? So that's how you get this graph over here, okay? So let's say you were to enter somewhere uh, here upon this uh, candle here, okay? How do you set your stop loss? Okay, at this candle here, just look down. Okay, look down at this level, and uh, you can see that um, the the at this level, the ATI is actually zero point zero zero four four eight. Okay, so the way to read this is that it's actually forty four point eight pips. Okay, so you want to set a stop loss of forty eight pips. Sorry, forty four point eight pips, which is about 45 pips. Okay, just, just round it off. Okay, so it's about 45 pips. So if you enter here and you put a 45 pip stop loss, you your and your stop loss will be somewhere here. Okay, so this is how you structure the trade. Okay, so in this case, um you entered here, your stop loss is above here. Okay, your take profit could be the recent low. Okay, you could do it here. Okay, uh, if you do it here, your risk to reward is not that good. Okay, that's option number one. Okay, if you take profit at the uh, pyro swing high or swing low. Okay, the other way is to actually trail it, but you can trail it through a couple of ways. Okay, let me just clear it and show you how uh, we can actually trail it. Okay, one way to trail it is actually using the uh, EMA, meaning that uh, just wait for price to close above the EMA. Okay, now the problem with it is that a lot of times if you do that, you might give back a lot of your gains. Okay, in this case, let's say you entered here and you know you didn't take profit and then you see price retrace back here and then your, your entire profit is almost gone, you see, almost gone. But if you know you sit through, you would have a uh, hold it until somewhere here, okay, where where are uh, you where price closes above the uh. 50 period EMA, okay? That's how you trail it. That's one way to do it, okay? The other way is to use the market structure, meaning that uh, you can see that uh, this is actually a swing low, this is a swing high, okay? If you cannot see it, just change back to the line chart, okay? And you can see that this is a swing high, and then every time price makes a new swing high, uh, you just put your stop loss here, okay? So that's another way for you to trail your stop loss, okay? Again, there is no right, there is no wrong, so it's just up to you. Okay, so let's go through another example. Okay, before I move on to the secret sauce, which I know a lot of you are waiting for, right? Because you cannot find this uh, anywhere else. Okay, same thing. Okay, you have the 200 uh, EMA sloping down. Okay, that's criteria one checked. Okay, criteria number two is that you want there, there, there to be a rejection of the um, 50 period uh, exponential moving average in which you actually see it over here. Okay, you see that at this candle here, there is a, um, there is a pin bar over here, okay? So this is your entry, okay? This is your entry. So how do you place the trade? Look down to your ATR and you realize that it's 0 0.00784, okay? So that means it's about 78 pips, okay? So what you can do is you can put a short position, just enter when a candle closes, put a stop loss about 78 pips, okay? So about like this. Okay, about 78 pips. And uh, depending on how you want to take profit, you, you can choose to take profit at the, you know, um, recent low. Okay, in this case, you can do it here. Again, the stop loss is not fantastic. Or you can, you know, take it even at this recent low. Okay, or you can trail it, trail your stop loss uh, as what I mentioned uh, earlier on. Okay, so you can see that this is a very straightforward uh, strategy. It's simple, it's effective. Okay, ideally you want to stick to the day chart. Okay, I would recommend you to start from the day chart if you are new to trading because it's the clearest. Okay, it's clean, it's easy. Okay, it's not too com confusing. The moment you start going to the H4 charts or the H1 charts, uh, price gets a bit messy. Okay, so if you do not yet have the experience to trade the lower time frames, I would recommend that you start on the daily chart. Okay. So this is the strategy, okay? So now let's go back to the PowerPoint slide and let's talk about the secret sauce, okay? How do you drastically increase your win rate when you are trading using the moving average, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to watch the prior reaction to the 50 period uh, EMA, okay? If you are using your own uh, 
moving average strategy, that's fine. So what you want to do is you just want to watch the the prior reaction to the fit to the moving average that you are using. Okay. So if you see that price is supported or resisted at least twice, okay, then you have the hypothesis that okay, the market is really observing the uh moving average and i can reasonably conclude that if it's supported twice it is going to be supported yet again okay so in this case you are really letting the market tell you that that hey look uh we are actually paying attention to the moving average okay rather than to just assume that uh your currency pair or your your instrument that you're trading is going to respect the 50 period uh, EMA or whatever moving average that you're using. Okay. You want to let the market tell you. Okay. So how do you do it? You look for two, two times. Okay. So in this case, I've put out the Euro dollar. You can see that it was rejected once. Okay. It was rejected twice. So on the third time, you will expect it to be rejected again. Okay, so this is how you do it, how you introduce this secret sauce to increase your win rate. Okay, and when you see this kind of things, it's very good for you to trail your stop loss according to um, this uh, moving average. Okay, because you entered knowing that the moving average is going to be resisted, right? So it only makes sense that you exit when price breaks this moving average and when this hypothesis of yours is no longer true. Okay, so this is how you do it. I have another example for you, and then I'll just do a summary and end of this video. Okay. So I have another example over here. So it's the same thing. We are on the euro dollar again. So let me show show it to you. Okay. So you, again, you have the prior uh prior fifty period exponential moving average. Okay, the blue one, blue line. You can see over here that it's supported once, supported twice. Okay. So again, as I mentioned, if price is supported or resisted the past two times, then it's, it's very likely to happen again. So look what happened over here. Okay, price was supported yet again. Price was supported yet again. Here, it's, it's kind of still supported. And then finally, it broke. Okay, so let's say if you were to enter here, okay, uh, depending on how you manage your, your trade, Okay, you may or may not have made money. Okay, but I want to just show you the concept. Okay, the concept is that you want to watch for the reaction at your moving average first. Okay, you do not want to assume that the market is going to be looking at your uh, moving average. Okay, because there are a thousand and one combinations of moving average out there. So how do you know uh, that the market is looking at it? Okay, you just watch the market, right? You let the market tell you, you do not try to predict whether this moving average is significant or not. Let the market show it to you, let the market test it twice. And if it holds, then you know that, okay, it's very likely that uh, the third time it is going to hold. Okay, so this is how you, uh, how you use this secret sauce that can help increase your win rate. Okay, so hopefully you enjoy that. Again, if you're enjoying this video, right, please, right help us to grow right please hit the like button please hit the subscribe button because we're dropping so much value just you know just to serve you just to help you and all this information is made available for you for free on our channel okay we have a lot of other videos so make sure you check out our other videos as well okay so just a recap okay so today in today's video Okay, I gave you the criteria of the moving average trading strategy. Basically, you want to look at the long-term trend, which is 200 EMA. By, uh, if it's up, if, it's, if price is trading above it, you want to be buying. If tr price is trading below it, you want to be selling. Okay, then you look at a you look at the 50 period uh, EMA. Okay, you want to look for a bounce of it, meaning that price is supported or resisted at the 50 period uh, moving average. Okay, I talk about the entry trigger, which is using candlestick patterns. The stop loss is using your... ATR, one ATR, okay? Take profit is optional. You can target the previous swing high or swing low, or you can trail your stop loss according to 